Let's get here. Our 14th and oh, final man. company, <laughs> Revolution Labs. Sideways, I'm in direct line for Okay, my name is Michael Snyder, and I'm a PhD student from the University of Louisville, and I have a bachelor's degree in physics from Murray State, Univers Murray State University. I'm here today to show you the next new thing in science ed education. Uh, basically, I have a piece of equipment that will allow you to see magnetic fields in real science and we'll all give a demonstration. And uh, the judges will see most of this, but I can show everybody else later. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the problem. In my hand, I have a magnet. And in my other hand, I have a magnifying glass. And I know this magnet has uh, a big field going around it. And I can just look at that field, right? Well, so all we have to do is hold up the magnifying glass and see it. Does everybody see it? Well, there must be a way of doing this. I mean, how hard could it be? I mean, photons are E and M, they're magnetic. Photons have electric and magnetic, and uh, magnets have magnetic. It should be easy to see this. So what we do, is we put something between the two. First, I have to have something that, inter that interacts with the magnetic field, which is little pieces of iron. So I have a layer of iron. And then we have to have something that interacts with the, uh, the layer of iron. So what I do is I just have a skinny layer of iron and shoot light into it. So I'll let me pass this down. So that's the basic cell, two pieces of glass and the ferro flute between it's just, just a layer of iron. And then we have uh, LEDs all the way around, uh, around the perimeter. So basically we have a bunch of lights all the way around. Uh, and I printed that with a 3D printer. Okay, now, Here I have different magnets in a board. And the reason I have different magnets in a board is because I used to try to do this demonstration with a magnet separate. And they would jump around. It was kind of dangerous. So I, I got smart. I said, I'll put them in a board. And it works pretty well. So I have a single one here, two here, and four here. So there's a pole. You'll be see a big circle. Mm -hmm. And here. We have a dipole, and that's from um, multipole expansion, if anybody has the background <coughs> in mathematics. And here we have a quadrupole. Hmm. And notice it works in real time. So uh, feel free to move it. Thank you. So the first question I, I would have is, uh, what problem are we solving by having insight into this? <laughs> We're solving the problem of seeing magnetic fields so we can understand them. And that would be very useful in science education. Uh, you know, kids just are not told about it. They can interact with it in real time. Are there any industrial uses that you know of where people pay a lot of money to look at magnetic fields? Yes, you could be designing a motor, and if, it only works a, a slow RPM. But if you're designing a motor or a generator, you literally can just hold this up in real time and see the field. It's, you move the magnet, it moves with it. Very clever. Yeah. Very clever. Thank you. <laughs> 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 